is right here in Utah stood in solidarity with protesters. New specialist Andrew Adams has that part of the story for us tonight. Andrew? Mike, on a typical day, you might find this Beto is open at all hours, but to many people's surprise, this business and uh, several others along the Wasatch Front closed their doors. Oh. We want respect! Echoing across this busy road. Yeah! Voices. Go for it. Voices. Latinos! Latinos! That are loud and proud. Latinos! This is our dream! Proud. This is our dream! Of their place in the American dream. We're working human beings that want to make a living just like any normal person. Carolyn Alleman shuttered her Beto's Mexican food locations to drive home that point. That we're all equal. I mean, I, I did this to, kind of, to stand up for my community. Many from the Latino community are making their presence felt <laughs> by their absence from work on this day without immigrants. Hopefully we can get our word out. Several businesses from Ogden to Salt Lake and beyond shut their doors as well. A showing of solidarity. We are all one, all together. Amid the Trump administration's immigration actions. We are scared. We are scared because we never see that. Feel like it's the end of the world. The end of the world, as she knows it. Makes me very, very sad. Not everybody is sad. I still think you need to come back the right way. That's just letting you know that it's okay. Some you know, support enforcement. And if you do anything okay and you don't follow the rules, but why isn't it okay for those people that are stuck there in New Mexico? This group <laughs> hopes their voices will be heard. We're all human beings and we're all just people that want to work. Yeah, interpretations on how to mark this day varied. Some businesses across the country actually stayed open to show their support. Back to you.